So in this video, I'm going to get a little bit um, in a deeper detail about the charging of the taxes and the fees on a Clover system. And within that context and a couple of use cases, I'm also going to touch upon one of our apps. It's called Advanced Fees. And so first I want to kind of describe the difference uh, between the taxes and fees and how Clover treats those things during transaction. Um, uh, and, 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 and to get started, I'm going to click on the setup. Right. So in setup, taxes and fees are bunched together and you can set up those things to be, um, you know, something that's available and I'm going to go ahead and click on plus and the first limitation that we have with the Clover is that if you're talking, um, here, let me do a little bit of zoom in there. So if you're talking uh, fees, then a fee needs to be expressed as a flat fee, right? If you're talking about percentages, uh, taxes, then it needs to be expressed in percentages. So that's one thing. And fees and taxes for the most part are separated out in terms of where those transactions take place and how those transactions are recorded on Clover. And so there is a fee inside taxes and fees. And then there's something that's called additional charges uh, that Clover has. And this is available on uh, the highest uh, paid um, subscription plan, not on a free one, right? So the additional charges enables you to have a surges charge expressed in the percentage. And um, so you can have the name. So mine's called large party fee, ABC. And we can get rid of the word ABC. And we can express percentage. You know, let's make it something ridiculously high so we can see how that works. So I'm just gonna put 50 here. You know, that's 50%. And I'm doing this 50% so that we can easily see um, you know, how that gets worked. And so I'm going to grab a, um, one of my, you know, let's go ahead and create an item. And in the context of that new item, I can explain. So new item, right? There it is. And we're going to show and register. We're going to keep it as a fixed price. We're going to give it, uh, $50. That will be our price and we can give it some product code. Uh, okay. And now the fun stuff. So by default, it selected a couple of taxes that I had as default. And so this is one of the features of the taxes and fees on Clover is that you can have them um, be triggered automatically to all items that are added. By, by the feature of the default taxes and fees, right? Or, um, and so only have taxes here. Let's just go ahead and, uh, yeah. So there it is, save and no fee. So there's two different taxes that are being triggered on this item for $50 and that's it. All right. Now, when we go to register and we do, what is this new item? There it is, new item, product code one, two, three, four. So there it is, we saw um, the uh, item, there's the fees, large, uh, the taxes, $8 worth of taxes. You know, if we did the math, it would equate to what those taxes were. And then the large party fee that we had um, set up in this uh, as a separate thing, gets triggered right there. See, large party fee, 50%, $25. Now, those fees are sitting outside, so the large party fee does not get taxed. It sits outside of the tax line. It just gets calculated off of this one. And the way that it just automatically triggered is also a function of advanced fees. See, if I go ahead and stop, make it inactive and run that same uh, transaction again. New item. 
everything is the same except that the fee did not automatically get triggered. You can add the fee by going to those three lines here and adding a fee this way. There it is, right? Um, another way to set it up, a third way, would be to edit this line here. So we have a percentage order, which then picks up whatever we have set up in the setup. And, you know, we had the trigger on always, but we can also have the fee triggered on a conditional basis, which is based on the question. Fee, question mark. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so now when we go to register, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this item. In fact, why don't I start a new order? There it is. All right, so I'm gonna say a new item. There it is. Now it triggers a question. Fee with a question mark or not, right? So we say yes fee, there's the fee. That's again, that fee is outside of uh, the tax line and that's how Clover handles it and again taxes can be removed this way taxes can be added back this way right so that's the fee part um, and then I don't know if you're noticing this this went under other but let me grab some of my um, Let's see, how about ice cream? That's also other. So, how about this? Hmm, banana, apple. Okay, all of those things are other. All right, well, so there it is. Uh, that's kind of how the fees and taxes are handled. And let's go ahead and uh, make a payment. Sorry for this sudden opening of the cash drawer um, all right so now that we have this transaction done let's quickly take a look at the reporting aspect of these taxes and fees and I'm gonna open the app called uh, reporting and you know in fact why don't I zoom back in right so we ran some transactions today and so you have taxes here it is sales taxes um, um, that's what that looks like okay and there is also you know in the sales overview I think this is where we're going to see the service fees charge uh, that's you know we're looking for today there it is uh, there all right so taxes and fees there it is service charges 2550 there it is there's the service charge um, and we let's see that's it yep that's what the service charge would look like service charges right there um, let me take a look at item sales yep nothing so there's no tax information here yeah that's it so basically service charges will be under sales overview and the taxes have their own section here okay